What's going on guys? Welcome to the Against All Odds podcast. I'm here with Anand, so we'll roll the intro and get right into it. All right, Hanan, give me your full name, your age, your position, and your place of birth. If you can remember okay. all that. I'll do it. What's your yeah, name? Name right. and age. Give me your name okay. and age. Renan Andrade Ferreira. Uh, I'm 14, 24 years old. It's uh-huh. the first time I say that because <laughs> I just, just turned uh-huh. 24. And I was born in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I'm a center back, a defender. Good. And how did you say your like your middle name? What was it? Andrade. Andrade. I never even said that. I always yeah. just said Hanan. It's a Portuguese name, I think. Okay. Yeah, right. But I'm not Portuguese. At and all. Uh, I'm also too like I'm so impressed by you, Rodrigo, Janu, all the guys that come on here, and English is their second language. I'm really I have a lot of respect for. I'm you guys. improving my English because <laughs> when I got here, it wasn't that good. It's not that good already, but I'm improving like it every was, day. I felt like you came in, it was pretty good already, and now it's like really, really good. Oh. Appreciate that, <laughs> yeah. It's really important to me because I really <laughs> like the language and I like to talk to you guys. And you like you like yeah, English? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. How's my Portuguese? <laughs> the truth? All right, all right. So, all right. So you're born in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah, right. Yeah. And that's where that's where Rodrigo is born, huh? No, Rodrigo is from Rio de Janeiro. Okay, then he this, and he's from Sao Luca, Paulo. They are from Rio de Janeiro. Oh, okay. no, I'm the only one oh, from okay. Sao Paulo. Got it, got it. They're both are from Rio. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> um, and then, so you were born, how many, you, you, mom, dad, what's your family like? You have brothers and sisters? I have two brothers, a, a younger brother and an a, a older brother. Uh-huh. And I live with my dad and my, my mom, and we all live together. And that's it, I'm in the middle. Okay, the middle guy. so you're 24, how old's your older brother? 27, uh-huh. and my younger, it's 15. 15? Yeah. Okay. Do they play soccer? No. My my older brother tried to, but uh-huh. he stopped and went to college. And now, as I said to you, he works at the television. Uh-huh. And that's it. And then what's your, your bro- younger brother's 15? Does he play? Yeah. No, no. He just, just to school? He likes football a lot, but uh-huh. he don't like to train. And <laughs> he's lazy. <laughs> just like to eat and watch television. Wow. Oh, you're going to just call yeah. him out like that? Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Cool. And um, so both of them are still in Sao Paulo. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, have they lived any? Have you just lived like Sao Paulo the entire life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my life. Uh-huh. All my life. Um, my family, all my family lives there. Uh-huh. And that's it. Dang. Um, did, did you start playing soccer as, as soon as you could, like as young as you... Yeah, yeah, because in Brazil, like, we all play when we are young, Mm -hmm. like, in the streets or everywhere. Yeah. Like, it's the most sport. Yeah. Like, it's the most famous sport. Like, and I start with my my brother. Me and him, we went to a a tryout at Corinthians. Mm -hmm. I didn't like football very much, but my brother really liked it. Uh And we had an opportunity. We knew... uh, William's father, do you know William? Yeah, yeah. That plays in, in Chelsea. Yeah. We knew his his dad, and he take me and my brother to to make the trial at Corinthians. Mm-hmm. And as soon as we got there, my brother, he liked most. He trained every day and all those things. And oh, okay, mm-hmm. I trained sometimes. I didn't like I like more to play at the streets. And, yeah. And we went when we got there. My brother, he didn't pass. Like he stayed there for two weeks, I think, mm-hmm. or less than that. And I stayed for, for, for a long time, for so, a couple so they, months. they liked yeah. you and they just... Yeah, for a couple months. And I will stay there watching, hey, I like this. I like this life. <laughs> I like, yeah, I'm kind of like this. I was like 13, 13 years, years old. 13 years old? Yeah. Was that your first like real like club team that you... Yeah, you my first with? tryout. And, uh-huh. Yeah, all stars there. All when stars. I saw that live, it's Corinthians. And, yeah. and I, I remember when I tried the uniform the first time and I saw the, the badge uh-huh. I said wow <laughs> hey what is that it's called in I really cool. like because that's a big club yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. that's big awesome club. big club so you're like 13 your brother was like what like 17 15 no he's or? 3 years uh, 16 16, 16. Oh, I got, I got yeah. that both ways 17 yeah. 15 16 <laughs> 16 okay and before that so from like age 5 until 13 you were just playing with your friends like on the street yeah yeah my friends on the street I train in the, in the not in the club but in, in, I don't know how to say that. It's a... Like it's, a local team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. little. It's little. It's not a big thing. And I train, like, for two two times a week. Mm-hmm. 
And that was pretty much it. So it so it was like semi serious, like it was pretty serious, but like yeah, not yeah, like yeah. professional. Yeah, yeah. They prepared the guys to make tryouts, mm -hmm. and they. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Uh -huh. We've been like some championships, but amateur, mm -hmm. you know, and it's it's a preparation for go to the to the bigger teams. Okay. Um, and then uh, did you have like like Rodrigo said that he just had like a right below his like apartments where that's where there was like a, a I don't know even know what he would call it but like it's like the little indoor futsal court yeah yeah did in you Brazil, have one of those like close yeah to you? but I live we play more in the streets or in in some indoors but in schools in school have like the 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 indoors field yeah 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 and then I went to to the indoors field with my friends mm -hmm. like in the in the holidays or or uh, in the weekends mm -hmm. and we played there like the whole afternoon <laughs> and the whole day and uh -huh. that was pretty much it uh huh and uh, like when you say it's like in with, in with your school it's like wood floors right wood floors with like a little like the futsal goal is that what it looked like yeah 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 it's, it's uh -huh. most like futsal uh -huh. it's most like futsal when we are young I think we play more more these in Brazil okay when did you start to play 11 v 11 like outside on the grass yeah it was when I went to that tryout mm -hmm. like it was my first then I, I like this life. Then I start to take it more serious. Uh -huh. Then I went to, to, I got back to the to that club that I started. Then I was training more serious, and it's all, all the time eleven v eleven because mm -hmm. we play in the field every time, and I start from there. Okay, so that's what. So literally that that one trial that you had with uh, Corinthians, yeah, you that like was like I want to be a pro now. I want to. I want this life for me. Yeah. I want this okay. life for me. And before then, how many days out of the week were you playing with the ball? Like playing soccer in the streets, playing whatever? Almost every day. Uh -huh. Almost every day. Every Just day. For at least like an hour, two hours a day? Yeah, yeah. We don't see the hour fast. Yeah, like yeah. When we're young, we're just <laughs> playing with our friends. And when we look, hey, it's night. Right? We have to go home. Yeah. And our mom calls us, hey, enough for today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, that was like I would, my brother and I would always go outside and play one v one all the time because I okay. didn't have many kids who played soccer in my neighborhood. Yeah, it was always like football or baseball or something. And so me and my brother would play one v one, and after like two hours, we'd be drenched in sweat, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we don't don't even know how long you've that been outside. That happens with me and my brother too because uh -huh. we had a, a, a backyard in front of our house. Mm -hmm. uh, no backyard in front. Of our house. <laughs> <laughs> a yard in front of your house. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we play like against each other. He uh -huh. liked it more, like dribbling each other yeah. in a small space. Mm -hmm. And we stayed there like for a long time. And I really liked that. I remember my childhood. And my childhood was pretty much like this. We have a lot of. I had a lot of friends, mm -hmm. and we always. It's different from from here, because in Brazil, like we stay at, we. Uh, back in the time. Yeah happens more not today because today is a little bit more dangerous but mm -hmm. uh, oh, like, like when you were a kid like yeah before? when I was a kid we were at the streets like every day all day mm -hmm. and my childhood was was really good that's good yeah, uh -huh. yeah. that's awesome yeah because it's it's gotten more dangerous now huh? yeah over yeah, the last yeah, like 10 yeah, years right yeah yeah, because that's what Rodrigo even said. He was like, his parents were so happy when he got a college scholarship here. Yeah, because they imagine. were happy to send him away, to, so yeah. it's like safer. For sure. Uh -huh. Brazil and São Paulo, they are really dangerous cities, mm. so it's difficult to to live there. You have to be smart. Mm. Yeah, you you grow up faster. Yeah, because like, you, you see things, you see something's happening, you know how life is. Yeah, like, when you're young. That's crazy. Yeah, it's really crazy. Thing. All right. and Our childhood then, is different from uh -huh. here. But it was good, but you liked it. Yeah, yeah. But sure, as a kid, sure. you, you just, you, oh, don't, you kind of I wish out. to come back to that age and do everything again. <laughs> uh -huh. No pressure, no stress. No, yeah, not yeah, Just playing and having fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. So really good, playing soccer, having fun, good family, growing up. And then you had that trial yeah. with Corinthians. Yeah. And you that's where it really opened up your eyes to like, I want to be yeah. a pro. Yeah, uh -huh. that's the life I want. Before that, did you want to be a pro or did you just? No, I studied because... In my house, like my daddy always wanted me to be a, a soccer player, uh -huh. me and my brother. But my mom, she wanted me to study. Mm -hmm. And my daddy wanted too, but oh, you want to be a soccer player? Okay, that's yeah. what I want to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at the beginning, my mom said, hey, you can play, but I want you to study. Because yeah. I was studying a good, good school, mm -hmm. and I had a 50% of, I think it's scholarship. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, scholarship, so yeah. it was a good school, and my brother studied there too. It was a private school, mm -hmm. so 
I, I, I make my mom proud of it because mm -hmm. he didn't study like she started like she, when she was 11 or really? 12. Yeah, yeah. it's really it was really no. My my dad stopped when he was 12 or 30, 13 years uh -huh. old, and my mom studied until 16. Wow. So that makes her really proud because mm -hmm. I was smart. I had a scholarship and all those things, and I was good at school. Yeah. Yeah, and she really wanted me to to study and try to, to go do different route, things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, another direction because mm -hmm. for her it was really really difficult. Yeah, I bet. I mean that. That's crazy, 11 yeah. years old. Yeah, yeah. She works with a lot of things, and mm -hmm. I'm really proud of her. And that really, like, touches me because I, yeah. I, I love my, my dad and my mom. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. And so they're super supportive, huh? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. My dad supports me a lot. He, call, he calls me every day. Yeah. Yeah, how was training? How, <laughs> or, or how, how was the things? What happened today? Yeah, yeah. What is happening? What you're doing? <laughs> like, when I, last year I was in Portugal. Mm -hmm. And he calls me more, like three times, four times. Yeah? Yeah. Was that, was that your first time away from being away from no, home? No, no. When I was 17, I went to, to Hungary uh -huh. for some months. And yeah, in Portugal was the second time. Okay, but we'll, get, we'll get into that too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Um, that, that's awesome. Like that's that's really good. My dad is like kind of the same way. Like obviously the same exact thing. Like we want you to focus on school, school, because I mean the likelihood of you being a pro is low. Yeah. But my dad was always like wanted me to like push yeah. for sports, push yeah. for sports. Like yeah. the same thing. I after I, I'm calling my dad after this too. He's like, tell me how training went today. Yeah. Like coming back from injury. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. Cool. My dad already called me like. Three times I didn't answer. <laughs> He's gonna call more and more until I, I answer him. Uh, how's that? How are is their English? Could, will they be able to understand? No, all this? They, no, 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 for okay. sure. <laughs> no. As I said to you, they didn't study. So yeah. their Portuguese is really good, but their English they don't understand everything. Mm -hmm. And when we talk, they hey, he tries to speak, and it's really funny. <laughs> when sometimes when I, I'm with my friends here uh -huh. and we're speaking English, oh, they laugh. Oh, hey. I understand that, okay? <laughs> tell him this, tell uh -huh. him that. Let me talk to, to them. It's really funny. My uh -huh. dad is really funny. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that is funny. Um, yeah, I, mean, I couldn't even imagine trying to like go no, and speak I, a different language. I, I'm like that. trying to get, trying to bring them uh -huh. to, to meet here. Mm -hmm. They have the visa, I think. They're gonna pick the, the visa uh, the next month, okay. I think. Yeah. yeah. So I. I'm trying to, to bring them hopefully to, to know here. Yeah, that'd be really cool. That. Yeah, I experience America. Have they been to America before? No, no, no? They, they never leave Brazil after Brazil. Oh wow, that, yeah, that'd be an yeah, awesome yeah, trip yeah, to yeah. bring them out there. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. That, that, hopefully that works out then. Yeah, my girlfriend's gonna come. So yeah, yeah, it's gonna be her first time too. He never left. She, she never left Brazil too. So I wish I, I wish you guys were experiencing like. Like New York or California or like yeah, like that. I've been in California. It's really really nice. Yeah, it's it was nice. a it was a dream because uh -huh. I always liked uh, from the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a lot of things like series because mm -hmm. I always have interest in know things like the English, the language, yeah, and all those things. And now that I'm here, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and then so okay, so let's go back now. So you're 13 years old. Yeah, and so you you. Played with Corinthians for a few months. Yeah. You really liked it. And you went back to your, your local team? Yeah. How long were you with them in training? No, only a couple months. Then I have another tryout. I went to Paraná. Uh -huh. it's, it's a big club there too, first league. Mm -hmm. And I was there for... But I was studying. Studying and I had this problem because I was in Paraná. It's in another city, mm -hmm. like six hours from Sao Paulo. Oh, wow. And I made the tryout and I passed. Then my mom, my mom got crazy. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're not gonna stay there. You have to get back. You have to get back to your to your studies. Yeah. And my dad and my mom had a fight for that. Mm -hmm. Then I gave up. I say, hey, they can fight because of this. And I yeah. have to get back. And I see another club, another thing. I try something else. Mm -hmm. And then I went to another club, uh, close to my to my house. It's Guaratinguetá. Play under 20. Guaratinguetá. Guaratinguetá, yeah. <laughs> Guaratinguetá. <laughs> almost, oh, almost. Close, yeah. close enough. Close, 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 yeah. 
Then I played the under under twenty there, mm -hmm. the the championship first division two. Then I play against Corinthians, against Palmeiras, and then I start more serious. Under under twenty, how old were you at that point? Uh, I think I started there with seventeen. Okay. Then I stayed there. I played the the under twenty that year. Mm -hmm. I played the under twenty another year too, and that was it. Uh huh. And then so during like after that is that when you went over to Hungary then? Yeah, uh, happen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot <laughs> the, the, this. We, it's this funny thing. because a lot of people like I'll, we'll talk about the entire life and then they're like, oh, I didn't even talk about this yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like a lot of things happen yeah. in, in our world because we've been in a lot of clubs, yeah. we tryouts. Then I went to Hungary. Mm -hmm. and I was there for for a couple months, but a guy promised me that I went. I went that I was going to mm -hmm. to make uh, friendly games uh -huh. with a lot of a lot of a lot of teams in first division second division and we played against them and but I was 17 I couldn't stay there mm -hmm. because of my age there's a law I think it's law Pele mm -hmm. that he, if you are under 18 you can play in another country mm -hmm. and I was there and, and that's a Brazilian rule yeah uh -huh. I, and there's Two clubs that was interest on me, mm -hmm. but I couldn't stay there. So I got back to Brazil. Then I went to to the club. Uh huh. How was uh, how was that? Because you said you were in Hungary for like three months, four three months, months three months. months. Yeah. How was that? Like that first? Because that was your first time going outside of Brazil, yeah, right? Yeah. How was that? Like, and how did you get that opportunity? That's like completely random. Yeah, really <laughs> random. Because my dad knew a guy, and he, uh -huh. when my dad knows a guy, he always say, "Hey, my my son plays soccer and." He's good, he's a fan, uh, mm -hmm. and the guys said that. He saw me playing in, in, in one place and said, hey, he has a chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's tall. Yeah, because you're 6'6", 6'7". 6'6", 6'6". He's tall. And, yeah, he's really tall and he's good. He's good mm -hmm. with his speed. So let's go, let's try. Then I went there. It was good. It mm -hmm. was good. It was really different. It was really cold yeah. when, I, when I was there. Uh -huh. I think minus 20, minus 10, no, minus 20 was, you talked to me that. Celsius? When you was in, no, you, oh. you, you said to me that when you were in German. Yeah, yeah, Germany. Germany yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was minus 10, it uh -huh. was really crazy. I was with some guys that I didn't know. Like mm -hmm. the first time I saw those guys, they were a team that went there to make the, the friendly games. Uh -huh. And it was good, it was a good experience. You saw a lot. Mm -hmm. It's it's really you open your mind for the world. I think yeah, yeah. Yes, you see that the world is really big. Everybody plays soccer. Yeah, there's good guys everywhere. Because mm -hmm. then you're from Brazil, say hey, I'm gonna play in Hungary. Oh, yeah, easy, yeah. Yeah, go, it's gonna be easy, okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's not like that. Yeah, football is everywhere and everywhere. There's guy that knows how to play. Yeah, I thought I I say that too because like I did the same thing when I was going over to Iceland for the first time. Really? I was like, oh, Iceland? Come on. I was like, I'll be easy. And I go over yeah. there, I'm like, oh, these guys are good. Like, yeah. And like, that was my first pro trial ever when I was like 21 or something. Yeah. And I was like, jeez. Like, I had no idea like how you could go anywhere. New Zealand, Iceland, go to these random places and people would be good. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. It's you cool. You saw that in World Cup. You see yeah. that the teams are really organized and mm -hmm. there's good players everywhere. Yeah. So that was the, so that's probably a good experience to open up your eyes to like different yeah. like European yeah. soccer everything. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, but it was really good. Mm -hmm. Good experience. Did you miss home at, during that time? No. You no. just were happy. I'm, I'm, I think I'm not the guy. I'm really. I'm easy I'm, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going like I see new things and mm -hmm. I enjoy it. And you're I, in Budapest, right? Yeah, Budapest. It's a so, cool city. Yeah, it's a good city, but I didn't know very much because of the cold. Yeah. <laughs> like we say, we go to training and home. Uh, yeah, yeah. Home and training, like the mall sometimes. Mm. That, that, was, that was it. Yeah. I went over there. When I was like playing in Germany, and then I had like a month off over Christmas, you know, in December. And so Mimi came over, and we kind of went to like Hungary and to Belgium and to a couple other places. Nice. And we were in Hungary. I remember in Hungary in Budapest. And literally, I only had my eyes showing. I had my hat. <laughs> I had like my scarf around, yeah. big coat, and we were walking around. My toes and hands would just be frozen. Oh my god! <laughs> so I remember. Cold there. I remember. <laughs> how was that going from Brazil though? Like, how was playing in that? Because you're used to hot temperatures, like pretty much year round right in brazil yeah and that was your first time experiencing that cold huh oh my god was it hard to play oh really really hard my uh -huh. i remember my foot my fingers mm -hmm. all frozen 
I was playing a game against a, a, a second division team from, from Hungary. Mm. Then I played the first half. Then we went to the locker. And I forgot my gloves. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm warm now. It's okay, I'm going to run. Okay. Five minutes. I couldn't. I you couldn't, couldn't move it. Yeah, nothing. I said, what? What is that? <laughs> I couldn't feel my feet. Yeah. We kicked the ball and, oh. It hurts. Yeah. Hurts. My Someone nose. steps on your foot. That's oh. the worst. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, all the I think it's the 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 extremity. Yeah, extremities. Yeah. Wow, so. That's a good word. Yeah. That's a good word. <laughs> I'm improving. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> extremities. Wow. Yeah. My nose and oh, mm -hmm. my nose like, and I didn't. Yeah, felt. it's running. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't felt. Yeah. It was really difficult. It's yeah. Really different from Brazil because in Brazil. We don't, you don't use tank tops, mm -hmm. the bibs, the yeah. bibs. In the train, you use train on the bibs <laughs> and the shorts, and it's okay. Year round, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. I like hot weather. Me hot too. weather, 100%. Me too. Now it's a good weather yeah. here to training. Today was cold, though. I was cold today. Oh, not too much. I was, not I, too I, much. Honestly, it was I like windy. It. I, windy, yeah. That's yeah. the problem. Oh, I also, I was on the sideline for most of it, too. Oh, I wasn't yeah. playing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like it. I like hot weather for sure. So now sure. you're getting back getting back next week i think okay <laughs> hopefully <laughs> <laughs> um and then uh luca's happy about that <laughs> he's just watching his podcast or video or um and then uh luca also luca's over here too but he's uh he's from brazil and he's shy he's shy, he's shy. and his his english is is worse than worse than yours but it's good it's still good yeah it's yeah. still really good but it's we're gonna wait until the end of the end of the season, of the season and then have him on the and podcast we'll see how, yeah. he, how he goes yeah i wish you know i should have done i should have had him on the first week and talk with him the very first week yeah it's here, a good idea and then at the very end show. but i think now if you make with him now and the end of the season mm -hmm. he's gonna be there's gonna be some difference yeah he's yeah, gonna but, improve yeah he's gonna improve he's yeah. improved a lot yeah um yeah, I bet. All right, and then so you come back from Hungary after yeah. three months, and then so you go back to the that team. Yeah. That I can't pronounce, right? That one. Guarachingata. <laughs> Guarachingata. Yeah. That's good. That's better. Huh? Yeah. Guarachingata. Yeah. Then, oh, sorry, sorry. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Go, go. So I was there. I played the 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 under twenty. Mm -hmm. Then I went to another club that it's Gremio Osasco. Mm -hmm. It's it's a good team too. Like playing the first division. Um, under 20 mm -hmm. then i played there for almost one year like it was 10 months mm -hmm. and i played the under 20 the championship uh, say the campeonato paulista paulista championship okay from sao paulo campeonas campeonasta campeonato paulista okay campeonata paulista yeah good <laughs> <laughs> then when the this championship ended i went to santa catarina Mm -hmm. Like the, where, and I played for a, it was my first professional team. Okay. Yeah, I was in the second division, mm -hmm. and I was there for for the whole championship. I didn't play much. It was only I think four or five games. Uh -huh. But it was my first experience in the in the pro profession professional. Yeah. And it was good too, but it's really different. Yeah. The, the first year. How how old were you? Uh, 18. 18, so yeah. you signed your first contract yeah. at 18. Yeah. Um, how, uh, how was it signing your first pro professional contract? Oh, it was really good. Yeah. It's a dream. Right? Yeah. It's a dream. Yeah, I want to, to be a professional. But I signed the, my first contract, my first professional contract in the in the Guarachingueta, in Grêmio Osasco. Okay. In Grêmio Osasco because I had an age that for you to, to play, like for, for more time, you have to sign a, a professional contract. Mm -hmm. Then it was my first. Prof so now, see, hey, now I'm a professional. So mm -hmm. it's really nice. It, you realize a, a dream. So yeah. Is your dad happy about that? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Stoked. Sure. <laughs> say, hey, your first professional contract. That's really nice. Did your dad ever play pro? No, no, no. Just no, played in the like no. in the streets for fun yeah, and stuff. Local yeah, clubs. Yeah. He had a team, but yeah, he played like some amateur championships mm -hmm. in Brazil. We say Varzia. Vaza. Vaza, yeah. Vaza. Like every neighborhood mm -hmm. has a, a team mm -hmm. and they play against each other. Okay. They made a championship and they play against each other. Okay. And my dad had a team. And In the city of S Sao Paulo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, that's awesome. So then um, how is the, like the second division? Like I've seen videos and I've seen like stuff, but I've never talked to someone who's like played in it. Like how is like 
is the like do they room and board you do they give you an apartment or anything or yeah yeah it's different from here but there we live in the uh, in brazil we say alojamento uh -huh. uh, i don't know how to say that but they are there are rooms mm -hmm. close to each other and was it was two for each 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 room uh-huh okay two for each but ba not bathroom it's uh, is it like an apartment? Like it's not like this, though. No, no, it's not like this. But is it just one room with like two beds, right? Like like close to each other? Like no, can... it's, no. There's a, a lot of uh, quarto. Where you bedroom? Sleep. Yeah, bedroom. yeah, yeah. <laughs> quarto. <laughs> yeah, qu <laughs> bedroom. So it's a lot of bedrooms, mm -hmm. like in only one, only one place, uh -huh. but a lot of bedrooms. Like in for each bathroom. Two, two guys live together. Okay. You yeah, yeah. One bed for each, one bathroom, mm -hmm. and we sleep there. It, it's good. It, it's okay. It's kind of like a, like a college dorm. Like yeah, 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 okay. yeah. That's it. That's uh, it. Better. Call better. it dorms. Yeah, yeah. Dorms, dorms, <laughs> yeah. dorms. Then they had the kitchen, mm -hmm. didn't have much, and it was at the stadium. Yeah, yeah. At the stadium, so it's, it, it's good. It's mm -hmm. good. You know other guys, and you live with them, so... We became a family. Yeah, because you're constantly with yeah, your teammates. Yeah, but what is really, what was really different is that our older guys, like the way they they behave, the way they treat you. Uh huh. Good really, or bad? Yeah, for me, it's good, but for another another guys, wasn't <laughs> that good. Why? Yeah, depends. Like <laughs> you have to, you need respect, mm. and you learn that. You learn that when you're young, and you learn how to behave, how to. To, to to stay with them, mm -hmm. you know, respect the older guys. And did they have you doing like, did you have to clean their boots or like do anything like that? I didn't do that, you but didn't. there are some guys that, that, uh -huh. that do it. In Germany, they, they, they did that. Like the oh. youngest guys, when you play, you because it's so muddy and, and rainy and everything, yeah. and once we're done, we put all of our boots in the little like bin, and the youngest guys on the team would clip Here stone Here, too, have the, the rookies, Yeah, right? the rookies. The yeah. rookies, yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. even that bad, though. You just yeah. have to uh, do some laundry. Yeah, some laundry. yeah. Here, it's okay. In Brazil, there are some guys that they make, like, clean the, the, the bedroom. <laughs> and, yeah. After the dinner, to clean their plates. And, wow. Yeah, we have the, those things. Uh-huh. That's, okay, and then so you, how long did you live in that the dorms? It was for five months. Five months. That was the the championship. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was, it was short, short time. Mm -hmm. So I was there for five months. And when you're with these teams, you're training every single day, like a pro team. Every single day. Uh -huh. Every single day. Double days or just yeah. Sometimes like Monday and Tuesday, mm -hmm. two sessions. Okay. Then the other days only one session. Then we have games on Saturday or or Sunday. Okay. And how were the training sessions? How did they compare to like our training sessions? Like, did you, because we do a lot of like 11 v 11, a lot of games. Yeah. Stuff. What was yeah. it like in Brazil? In Brazil, there are some clubs that, that do this, but I think the the majority mm -hmm. don't do that anymore. They, they in Monday and Tuesday, we have like more physic, physical mm -hmm. trainings. They, it's more hard. Like fitness? Yeah. Uh -huh. More fitness training. And Monday is more more hard uh -huh. Tuesday two like we have two sessions so in the morning like 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. 8 a.m. train hard then we rest and and afternoon like 3 p.m. we train again 3 or 4 p.m. depends mm -hmm. we train again and it's hard too then Wednesday it's more light but it's more small fields yeah. and we do a lot of different different works like different trainings mm -hmm. like a lot of different drills yeah yeah way different because here you work like more the technical part yeah in brazil like we don't do the 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 drills that we do here mm -hmm. like receive and pass and like the first touch yeah yeah we don't do that a lot we do like some 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 technical but it's just like mm -hmm. stop it and we don't move a lot. We do more like small fields. Just small games and yeah, playing small games, tight like, spaces. Yeah, a lot, uh -huh. a lot, a it's lot. Fun. In, in, in Europe, when I was over in Germany, every team I was with, mm -hmm. the passing drills, the technical drills. Did you notice that in Hungary? Like, did you do a lot of those in Hungary? Yeah. Because uh, yeah. we did it for like an hour. Pass, yeah. receive, pass, pass, pass. Like, yeah. it was crazy. I'm like, are we going to play? We're yeah, just passing. Yeah, <laughs> and that reflects on their football. Yeah, the you can tell. Play. And the yeah. same with Brazilians. The way they play, yeah. Like, you guys can just tell from how you play that it's like the tight technical spaces. It's easy. Like, uh, even for you guys, like, between you... 
good. <laughs> good. 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 Alright, and we're back. I just spilled my water, so all good now. Good work, um, <laughs> but I was saying, like, you, you can just tell in our training sessions, too. Like, you, Luca, and Rodrigo, like, when we do tight space stuff, or like you guys are even in a tight space in the field, it's like you can just see, like, you're calm. And, like, you just play out of it, you know, no worries. It's yeah. all under the sole of your foot, you know? <laughs> just play out of it easy, versus, like, you can tell other players. It's just people get really panicked, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you, you got used to that. Mm -hmm. When you're. Because when we were young, we play like in the streets, and it's like this. Like we yeah. play like in, in uh, it's a small. Yeah. Like we put like two goals in the street and like five v five, mm -hmm. and you have to learn. Yeah. And then when you play like since you were a kid, then you play like futsal too. Mm -hmm. So I think you already have the mindset to to don't be nervous and try to find a way out. Yeah. Because I think it's the best way to to solve the the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that obviously Brazilians, uh, they got like, well, you guys are known for like soccer around the world. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then for, for your double, when you had double sessions, were both, how long were the training sessions usually? Yeah, in Brazil, I think we train a lot. Uh -huh. We train a lot. And too much or do you think it's like, okay? No, for a long time. I think like in the morning, two hours. Uh -huh. And in the afternoon, like one hour and a half. Okay. But the sessions are really hard because it, it's hot mm -hmm. and every time, mm -hmm. almost every time it's hot. So the fitness, you you improve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even when you don't want, <laughs> you improve. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, where'd you go after that? So now you're like, what? At, you're how old are you now? Like nineteen, twenty? Yeah, nineteen, twenty. And then yeah. so what happened from then? So you signed your the contract with that first team. Yeah. And then. You had the first real big pro contract in the yeah. second division. How yeah. did that season go? You said you, you didn't play that much? No, I didn't play much, and we were not really good at that, that championship, mm -hmm. but we stayed like in the middle of the... The, the table? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we do our job, we did our job, and it was pretty much it, but it wasn't that good as we expected it to mm -hmm. be. And how do you feel like, like as a center back? Because I feel like center back is like... Because you've been center back, you've been center back your whole yeah, life? Yeah, 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 my whole life. And uh, just because you're tall and everything? Yeah. Have you always yeah. been tall? Yeah, always, um, always. Are, is your mom and dad tall? Yeah, my dad is tall. My mom is, is not that short, uh -huh. but my dad is really tall. He's uh -huh. like 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Okay. Six two. My brothers are tall, too. My yeah. younger brother that has 15, 15 he's going to be taller than me, for sure. Yeah, you yeah. think so? Yeah. Sure. Uh. He's, he's already my, my height. Uh -huh. My uh, my dad is six two. My brother is six four. Really? And then as me, I'm like the shorter. And my, <laughs> my sister, my sister's like the same height as me. Really? Yeah, she plays basketball. My yeah. brother's huge. My mom is like five ten. Wow. My dad's six two. I'm like the smallest person in my family. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and the faster too. Yeah, faster. <laughs> but small, but shorter. <laughs> my brother was like a center back, like six four center back, played yeah. all that stuff. You told me. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's funny. <laughs> I always get made fun of for being short in my family. Um, and then so after that that season though so you had a, a, a mid-table season yeah and then um, how'd you go after that so after that I I stopped for for uh, uh, a short period of time mm -hmm. then I was in the in a team from from Sao Paulo too they're playing the a small championship because mm -hmm. I I was in Sao Paulo, I didn't have any clubs. I did some tryouts, but I didn't pass. Uh -huh. So I was saying that team playing was not a, a professional, professional championship, but just to don't be stopping. Yeah, and yeah. Just training and like moving, like because mm -hmm. when you stop for a long, long time, you you lose some things. Mm -hmm. And I'll stay there. Then I have a, a opportunity. When I said to you that. I play against Gabriel Jesus mm -hmm. and Cafu, so we have a, a game. It was a friendly game, but it was in a club mm -hmm. that it's Agua Santa. Mm -hmm. They made a, a friendly game with some 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 guys, and I saw like an opportunity because the coach from the team was there. He was looking, but not. He was not there for this. Yeah. Then he saw me, and I I did a good game. It was easy to play with Cafu on my side, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. it was really nice. Then he saw me, I said, hey, you play? Yeah, yeah, my, my brother talked to him. 
and say, come here on Monday. Uh -huh. Then I was there on Monday. I made a tryout like for one week and say, hey, want to stay here? So, oh, of course. <laughs> it was a good club, it was a good stadium. Uh -huh. And was the second division from Sao Paulo. Uh -huh. There we say A2. A2? Yeah, A2. Because okay. in the first division plays like Corinthians, Sao Paulo, Palmeiras, Santos. Mm -hmm. And this team was from the, the second division. And I stayed there for I stayed there for the the season from of I think was 2017. Okay. No, 2000. Yeah, 2017. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I stayed there for the for that season. We we were really good. We went to the semifinals, mm -hmm. but we we lost for Son Caetano. I don't know if you know this mm -hmm. this team. And and it, it was it. Then I, I left this team and I went to Portugal. Okay. Was and, my and how was that playing with Cafu and all those guys? Oh, it was right? really good. You know what's yeah. funny is I on literally today on Instagram I was scrolling and you know the Instagram account RL Designs. Yeah, yeah, sure. They sure, posted sure. something. I think it was them. They posted something with Roberto Carlos, um, Cafu, Cafu, yeah. and like all like another player too. And I was like, oh. my and not play against yeah. this guy. Like, I was like, that's so sick. <laughs> yeah. I went to his, I went to Kafu's like Instagram and got hundreds of thousands of yeah, followers. He's a really nice guy, so humble. Yeah. And my luck, it, it was that Gabriel Jesus was in my team. Mm -hmm. was, bro, he's crazy. You said he, he's the best player you played with, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's really fast. Like he dribbles the, mm -hmm. the whole team. He's really good. And uh, how did uh, how did you perform that season? It was good. It was mm -hmm. good. I made a, a good championship. I didn't play much too, but there I saw like how the football was like the pro level like a good a good level mm -hmm. we had a uh, good players like because we went to the semifinals and the players that we have was really good mm -hmm. and we, we were trying to be champion that's our our goal mm -hmm. but it didn't happen and we lost in the semifinal but it was a, a good experience I learned a lot in the club yeah learned that's a good. Lot. Yeah, because I mean, mainly I feel like during that time, like eighteen to like twenty two, it's like learning, developing. Like, sure, you stay patient. Sure. Like, especially as a center back, when you have older guys. So. Sure, sure, you have to learn. You have to watch and how mm -hmm. they behave, how they, they, they act, how they, they react. Mm -hmm. It's really important you to watch older guys that have been through what you're, you're, you are. Yeah, in the position that you are, they mm -hmm. were young and they miss, and you have to watch and. And learn with yeah them. definitely that's um th yeah that's 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 cool and how would you, how'd you feel during that time that you didn't have a contract you were just training with like the the, the amateur team or the semi was it semi-pro would you say semi -pro? yeah 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 but you just, struggle yeah a lot you think hey what i'm gonna do with my life yeah uh, i study start a college because mm -hmm. i was in the age to start a college i was seeing uh my brother studying he had a uh, a good a good he was studying in a good college mm -hmm. he was doing really good a good job and I was thinking hey maybe football yeah but, but I was training mm -hmm. I was training every day doing my best every day but you always think yeah you have yeah. to think because sometimes football is, is not the the oh everything or, or nothing yeah, yeah, yeah I think that you have to you need to have a plan B you have to think about your life about your family about your future and see if the football worth. Cause I don't, for me, I don't, I don't know if it worth like you play with 25, 26, 27, 28. In Brazil, I said, mm -hmm. in Brazil it's really different. Cause here I see the guys that they, they study, they do their they, they college and they graduate. Mm -hmm. Then they, they think if they, they're gonna play, what life they, they gonna, they gonna choose. But in Brazil, if you don't study and you, you try to play, when you are 23, 24, you didn't study, you don't work, mm. you just play football. So what are you gonna do with your life now? Yeah, yeah. You, when you're gonna to start a college with 24, you're gonna end with 28, 30, yeah. and you have to start a new life. And this Brazil is really competitive. Mm -hmm. The level is high. And you asked me, I didn't answer, but the, the second division, mm -hmm. the level, just because I said that, uh, the guys, like, they are 30, 29, and they are really, really good players, but they only have football. So they keep in move, living this life, like, they don't get much, much money, mm -hmm. 
but that's the life they chose so yeah they they are in that situation and it's really difficult yeah because you can get stuck yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's the word you can get stuck so you didn't study mm -hmm. now you're playing you're not playing in, a, in, a, in the high level because mm -hmm. the i think the 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 money that they receive to play like the level that they're playing is not fair because it's not that much and you live in the in a situation that is difficult for you you yeah. can you can save any money you have only money for now so you have to think about your future yeah i yeah i agree for sure you have to think about that's why future. i think that like the college in america like a lot of people don't like it but i think it's good because it's like for sure for i mean sure. you get to go play a really really high level and get your plan b your degree sure so sure. then it's like even if, because I've seen so many pro or so many college players that were really good players, but they just, you know, injury or something and they don't go up play pro, but then they have a degree and they get a great job, you know? Sure. So it's like, obviously, there's downsides to doing that. Sure. But yeah. But I've seen a lot of players get stuck like that too. So I have my, I had my brother that was in the same situation than me. Mm -hmm. Then with 18, he stopped and said, hey, I'm going to study. Yeah. He said, my dad was crazy. Hey, you have to be a soccer player. Mm -hmm. But she, she goes to my dad and say, hey, I'm not going to play anymore. I'm going to study. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be my life. I don't want this life for me. You know, it's difficult. I know what I have to do. Yeah. So I think you have to put in the table. You have to see, hey, that's the life you have to follow. Mm -hmm. Like you have to take care of your body. You have to take care of everything. You have to be really dedicated. And it's really difficult because someone that see, don't think that, oh, it's an easy life. Yeah, you're you know? a pro. Yeah, you have the best life pro. ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You mean have, you want to quit? Why yeah. would you quit? You're a pro. You want to have to train, you yeah. know, <laughs> training every day, two hours a day. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, but it's not the life. No. You have to be 100% dedicated or you'll just be another one, another mm -hmm. player. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, it's for sure. How, how long did you go into school before you stopped? No, I, I finished the, the it's not the college. It's the High school? Yeah. Secondary finished, school? Yeah, yeah, the secondary school mm -hmm. I finished, but I didn't start a college. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, how do you think that, like, looking back on it, like, do you wish you would have started college or do you? I'll think twice. Yeah? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think about that almost every day. I say, hey. Because I studied in a good school. Mm -hmm. As I say, I have 50% 50, 50 of scholarship. Yeah. And sometimes I think, hey, how my life would be if I, if yeah. I had studied. I think everybody does that. Yeah, though. how my life would be, what I'm going, what I was yeah. doing now if I, I had moving on with that life. Mm -hmm. But there's the other, the other side that I'm here now. I'm in the U.S. Mm -hmm. If I was studying, for sure I, I, I was not being here. Like knew everything I know. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Portugal last year. I went to Hungary, mm -hmm. and that that's our <clears throat> these are the experience that football provided to me. Yeah, yeah. Because I I have yeah, like we said on the the flip side, like I've had a lot of friends be like, man, I wish I didn't stop. You know, you're so lucky. And then I'm yeah. like, yeah, I've had really amazing like experiences, but like the same thing. It's like, it's it's not the best. Like it's a it's not the <laughs> dream life you are thinking yeah. it is. You know, yeah. there's a lot of downside with it too. Like that's interesting. Um, and then, so tell me about Portugal. Like, so that was the next step, right after this. Yeah. So yeah. how was uh, how did that come up from your dad too, talking to people? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Your dad's really it helping happened. you out. Huh? Yeah, my dad had a friend that plays as a professional player. Mm -hmm. It's Fininho, his name. He plays in the he played in Russian. Ukrainian. Roberto Firmino? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like this. Yeah. He's a left back. Okay. And he was really good. He played at Corinthians too. Mm -hmm. And um, then he knew my father. He's a, a personal friend. Okay. Then he has he had the, this this contact in Portugal and said, "Hey, I have a, a serum back here. It's mm -hmm. really good, and I think you should see his, this, his video and give him an opportunity. That he's going to help you. Agents between agents. Yeah, yeah. And I had this opportunity, and I went to Portugal, but it was really difficult there. Mm -hmm. It's not the, the the thing that we expect mm -hmm. sometimes because Portugal is a good it's a good country, but the football there is really difficult. I think about the the payment and those things. Mm -hmm. And I got injury like in the the second week of training uh -huh. in the in the preseason, and that like makes everything difficult for me. Yeah, yeah. And I I didn't talked about that, but in the beginning I had a, I had to make a surgery too. 
Which, which year? The, uh, <coughs> it was in Grêmio Osasco. Uh -huh. In Grêmio Osasco, I, I hurt my knee. I had to make a surgery f of the ACL. Mm -hmm. So I stayed stopped. I forgot. <laughs> a lot of stories. Because, yeah, I forgot. I stopped it for almost one year. Mm -hmm. Then I went to the amateur oh, okay. amateur club to, to restart. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. And so get back into Portugal. I hurt my meniscus. Mm -hmm. It was last year. So I made the surgery. I have to go back to Brazil to make the surgery because the club didn't provide a, a good structure. Really? Yeah, I made some exams there. Like, and they didn't <coughs> discover what I had. Mm -hmm. They want me to keep playing, keep playing. Oh, you're okay, you're okay. Try, try, because I was new there. Yeah. They invested on me. Then this was really difficult for me. It was a really difficult time. And I have to get back to Brazil to make the surgery and, and the recovery. Mm -hmm. Then I was in Brazil, like, for three months. Okay. Three or four months. Then I got back to Portugal and I played some games, but... I didn't, didn't play very well because I was getting back to the to the surgery. Yeah. And the guys want me to play. Hey, you have to play. You have to play. We invested on yeah. you, so you have to give me some results. Then the club wasn't wasn't doing really well, so it was a uh, it was really hard. It's it was not really the hard. best situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was really. Hard. I didn't expect that at all. Yeah. Like getting Portugal like first two weeks, and got injured. Mm -hmm. So injuries suck. Injury suck. Yeah. yeah. And that's so that's why too you had to dr drop down to that that amateur team. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Just because of the ACL. Yeah. How was I mean the ACL is just it's the worst injury, huh? Oh my gosh, really difficult. Akio, my yeah. friend, it's passing. I talked to him <coughs> and she said to me, "Hey, you're the only one who knows how painful it is." Yeah, I heard him say that this yeah, morning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How painful it is, how difficult it is, mm -hmm. and for him maybe it's not that difficult. Because for me, I'm taller, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm yeah. stronger than him, yeah. so, so it was really, really difficult for me because I'm really, really tall, so I yeah. have to be really strong to support my, my weight yeah. and my height and the way I play. How long after did you feel like you were like back 100%? Then uh, I was, my recovery, it was from one year because... Mm -hmm. In six, seven months, I was getting back to the trainings, and I was feeling really good. And when I was playing with some friends, after seven months, I was really good. I was mm -hmm. okay. Then I That's injured. pretty fast for mm -hmm. to come back. Yeah, right? yeah. I had a good treatment, and I injured. I had an injury in my knee, mm -hmm. the same knee that I made the surgery. So I opened a fissure in my patella, mm -hmm. and I have to stop for more two months without doing anything until calcificated mm -hmm. and that's why I stopped it for one year so I lost one year in my career that's a tough like time too yeah, like yeah. right when you're like one building year, up so there I think about stop and try to to move another way mm -hmm. to another way I did I almost did like the exact same thing like in 2017 was that 2017 that happened for you or what year no, the the ACL was in 214. Okay. Yeah. 2014. I had uh, 18 years old. No, 19 years old. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I I like well, on my left. Like I had the same thing I had this year yeah. on my left. Same exact thing, and then I didn't get a contract because I was injured. You know. Yeah. And so I was. I ended up being out for 10 months, and I then I went down to New Zealand, had the semi pro amateur team like I was with. Mm -hmm. the same thing. Like I was like. What am I doing? Like you're with a like a team that only trains like two three times a week. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, am I gonna get back to the pro level? Like, should I do this? Should I stop? It's like it's it's the worst thing. The injuries it's really are the difficult. worst it's thing. Really when you are not in the club. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was my my contract on Gremio Osasco was ending. Yeah. And they they I was I was going to another club, to to play a, a championship. Yeah. And when I got to that club, like in my first 20 minutes of training, I got injured. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was not in Grêmio Osasco anymore. I was starting in that club yeah. and say, hey, I didn't sign the contract already. Uh -huh. But it was all like we talked about it, but I didn't sign it. Mm -hmm. And they say, hey, now we can sign the contract. Yeah. And it's a difficult situation, so I have to treat by myself. So, Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> It was really difficult. It was really difficult. Mm.
And then um, in uh, in Portugal, what was the injury? Was it the other knee? Mm, was yeah, the, it was the right knee. Uh-huh. And, and it was meniscus. Meniscus. Yeah. How long? You said three was, months in, in in Brazil. So, but I lost one or two months trying to discover what I had in yeah, my knee yeah. in Portugal. Mm-hmm. I was there. I made some exams, like two or three exams, and they said, "Hey, your knee is fine." Isn't that the worst? That's the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. When they tell you you're good, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, you're I don't. Fine. <laughs> you should be playing. Yeah. And it was crazy. Someday I went to the doctor and she saw my exam, and she, she, he closed the door and said, "Hey, we have to talk." And say, "You see that image?" And it was a black, black ball in my knee. Mm-hmm. And say, and he said to me, "Hey, maybe that it's a cancer." Really? Yeah. And he said, "Hey, maybe you you can play for now, but." I don't think that it's gonna, it's gonna take you out of football for now. But you have to see that later. Mm-hmm. And he gave me a, a contact from another doctor. Then I got to the, to there talking to the doctor. I say what? Mm. Cancer? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> cancer? You you you're serious about that? Mm. And it was crazy. It was crazy. All that in Portugal. So this was a, a experience that. It was really difficult for me because yeah. a lot of things happen. And you're over in a foreign country across the world. Exactly. Like you don't have I like was your... alone. Yeah. yeah. All alone. And it's really difficult when you have to, to solve this situation. You were away from home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's difficult. And then so you got back to Portugal, though. You finished out the season with them. Yeah. Um, you said it was okay for the rest yeah, of the season. Yeah, it was okay. I trained it, but I didn't have like the recovery that I should have. Because mm-hmm. as I say, I'm tall. I'm, yeah. I have a... <clears throat> I have like 200 pounds and I have to be really strong my, mm-hmm. I have to take care of my, my fitness really good and it's difficult but I didn't have the, the treatment mm-hmm. and then I finished the treatment in, in Brazil but I only did like the physiotherapy and gym mm-hmm. all this I wasn't playing soccer like I didn't touch a ball for these three months then I got in Portugal I trained for two weeks and I was doing good at training, mm-hmm. scoring goals. Hey, I'm okay, but the guys saw that. They say, "Hey, you can play. You have to oh, play. You yeah. have to help us." But I wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah. Like after three months without playing, came for a surgery. Then you are two weeks playing. Mm-hmm. And I got to the game like two weeks later, training. I say, hey, so let's go. <laughs> if we have to go, yeah. we go. A 90 minute game is way yeah. different than yeah. training. Yeah. yeah, I was good. I did good. Like the first game. Then I played the second game and it wasn't that good. Mm-hmm. We lost and I played the third game. It wasn't that good too, but I was doing okay. Then he he changed me, but I was keeping. I kept going, mm-hmm. but it was really difficult that time. What uh, what division was it in Portugal? Uh, third division. The third. Third division. Uh-huh. Yeah, Campeonato de Portugal. I think okay. it's the same that Janu played there. Yeah. 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 That's, did you ever play it? Did you play it? No, him? no, I didn't play it against uh-huh. him. It's a different series, like okay. different conference. Like regions? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. He's from Lisbon and I was in Porto. Did you like Porto? Yeah. Well, it's a great Port- city. Portugal's yeah. nice, huh? Yeah. I haven't been. I really want to go. Yeah, you have to go. Yeah. It's, a, it's really nice. Good city. Mm. It's beautiful. Did you ever go to like a like a Porto game? Like a, the, the, the team? No, no, that no. Been cool. <laughs> no. I can't believe that I didn't. <laughs> I should have. I, I live it close to the stadium. Yeah. But there are some times that our games mm-hmm. were in the same day, the, the Porto games. Yeah. Then I, I didn't. And when you're in season, it's hard. You focus, you just focus on that. Yeah. Like, like yeah. what you said in Hungary, you go to training, you come back. You go to training, you come back. Yeah. Most of the time, you don't go and do don't have time the, to. Yeah. To do another things, mm-hmm. and then so after Portugal, so the season ended. Did yeah. you go back to Brazil? Yeah, I went back to Brazil. It was last year, mm-hmm. and I finished the the season. I was okay. I was training there. Then the 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 opportunity to come here mm-hmm. show up. Then, so the, did the opportunity come, to come here show up like when you were still in Portugal or? No, I was in Brazil. Brazil. I was in Brazil. Did you think about re-signing or doing staying in Portugal, like playing over uh, there? I think, but I had a two or three clubs that were interested on me, but the payment was wasn't that good, mm-hmm. and all the things that happened in Portugal, I was thinking, hey, it worth to yeah. be away from my family and don't receive much. Like, yeah. You, I, I think, hey, my life's not gonna change for for this money and and lose that time with my family. Yeah. And you have to think if it's worth to mm. stay there away from your family. And I've been to tough situations about my family in that time too. 
when the same time I injure my my right knee of the meniscus, mm -hmm. I lost uh, two parents in Brazil. So my uncle was was sick. He mm -hmm. was at the hospital. Then I got injured, like almost the same same at the same time, like one knee for the other. Uh -huh. And my uncle was at the hospital, so I got back to Brazil as soon as I knew. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a sign of. Yeah, yeah, I believe those things. So I went back to to Brazil, and when I was in Brazil, I lost my my grand my grand my grandpa mm -hmm. and another aunt. Okay. So I lost three parents like in this year. So when I when the uh, the next season was going to start, I said, "Hey, I have my family. We lost our parents." So mm -hmm. the, I think twice to before yeah. I signed the the another contract because. For my family, it wasn't that easy. It yeah. wasn't wasn't easy for them to see me go in and say, "Hey, you have a life here too. You have a family." Mm -hmm. And I think say, "Hey, I'm here in Portugal, passing to the these difficult situations, and my family is there." So it's tough. Yeah, it's hard to be that far away. Like yeah. you feel like guilty. You know, you're like, yeah. ah. they are there. And when I was leaving to Portugal at the first time, I saw my my uncle. He was fine. Mm -hmm. She said goodbye to me. Then when I got back, I saw him like in the bed of the hospital. Then I saw yeah. all those things happen. So you think about your life. You think if you worth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, I did the same thing when I was abroad. My grandpa died. Same yeah. thing. I couldn't go to his funeral. Like I was under contract. I got lucky, but at least I I, I couldn't. Yeah. So I believe in God. So. I think that everything helps for yeah, a reason. The timing so, of it. Yeah. So I think that everything's helps for a reason, and mm -hmm. it happens. Like I got injury, then I had to get back to Portugal. I couldn't discover what I had mm -hmm. in my in my knee, so I had to get back to to Brazil. Then I got there. It was it was difficult. It was bad. It was be, but I think it will it would be much more difficult if I wasn't there for my family. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. When I saw my, 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 my grandma, mm -hmm. she told me, hey, thank God we're here. We missed you a lot. We really need you here right now. So so I knew that I should be there. Mm -hmm. So it's good to go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <coughs> that makes me comfortable yeah. at that time because yeah. I had a lot of things in my head at the time. Yeah, I can. And like going back to like the injuries, when they tell you like, oh, no, you should be fine. It's, when I had that the first time on the left, I had no idea what it was. The, uh, they said, you'll be back in seven days. We're like, seven days. It ended up being ten months. Yeah. They're like, you'll be back in seven days. And I didn't, seven days came, I still felt it. Like, okay, two more weeks. Do this, do this. Two more weeks. Don't worry, don't worry. Two more, it just, you know, I was like, it was so frustrating. Yeah. That's like, the difference when you're in the, in the good club, maybe, and you make the, the exams, mm -hmm. and you, knew what, you know what you have. Yeah. And you know the time that you're going to spend in your recovery. Yeah. And then, so how long were you in Brazil before you got this opportunity? Uh, I think three months. Three, three months? months? Yeah, three months. Uh -huh. I stayed three months in the in Brazil. That helps a lot of things too. I lost my my grand my granddad, mm -hmm. my grandpa. Yeah. And in the end, now that I got back, like in the end of last year, mm -hmm. the end of 2018, mm -hmm. then this opportunity comes. So I think twice to say, hey, I'm going to another country again. Yeah. Just stayed the whole year and my family is like I can't say broke but yeah it's it, it was really difficult. they're a little upset yeah, yeah yeah then it's difficult to get to my parents and say hey I have to go again mm. it's difficult but it's it, it's the our cho choices right yeah, it's our job yeah it's yeah. our yeah. choice for us so. um were you even though like it was like at a tough time were you excited about coming to America yeah yeah sure sure so as I say, I believe in God. So mm -hmm. when I got this this opportunity, say, hey, that's really good. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. I always want to meet U.S. and mm -hmm. say, hey, it was a, a dream that I had that I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. hey, U.S. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be nice. I'm gonna improve my English because yeah. <laughs> I really like to speak English. Uh -huh. It's nice. Yeah, that's, so. that's funny that you like to speak English. Because ah, I feel like Portuguese is like the coolest language. Ah. It sounds like you guys <laughs> well, are... Portuguese is really difficult. It's so yeah, difficult. Yeah, it's one of the most difficult languages. You guys, you guys will tell me to say something. And in my head, I just... I don't even think about... It's just like... It's just random sounds. Yeah, that's yeah, sounds yeah. Like. <laughs> that's I'm like... Our... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? And our songs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our songs are nice too, but... The, 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 our language... 
there are some words that's really different. Yeah. Really different. Yeah. And I saw you guys when me and Luke <coughs> and Rodrigo when we were talking. You saw, you see us, and you, you see us like looking at you, like can you listen. laugh yeah. about about the words they were saying? Yeah. <laughs> and you repeat. It was really funny. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. And it's, it's funny because I like literally. It's so weird because I have no idea. It's like probably when you're over in Hungary and you have see that language. No, you have no. I have Look no like idea. They're fighting. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, they're they arguing all it's the like time. German, yeah, German yeah. was like that. Looks like they are. Dude, Jack. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's funny. It's funny. It's funny. Hungary. I didn't. Re I don't remember any word. Yeah. Any word. The, that language is crazy though. Yeah. It's absolutely insane to try to speak that language. Yeah. Um. And then so you came over here. February, right? January? January. 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 End of January. 2021, my time. Uh -huh. Yeah. How, what did you think? What was your first impressions of landing in, in like Oklahoma in the middle of America? Um, yeah, like, I got here and when I, like the first impression of Oklahoma section. So it's like, there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no building, no nothing. Because yeah. I'm from Sao Paulo. It's a big city. Big city. Yeah, a lot of buildings, a lot of houses. There's people everywhere. Mm -hmm. And in here is really... It's, it's cool. It's, it's it's spread out, flat. Like yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of open fields, mm -hmm. and but it's nice. We live in a nice place, mm -hmm. good neighborhood, and I was they received me really well. Mm -hmm. So I'm comfortable comfortable here. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's and good. then um and then so how has been the first? It's already been like what five months now. Five months. Uh, right. How how has been the first five months? It was good. Uh -huh. It was good. We had a good preseason. Yeah, we train a lot, mm -hmm. but uh, but it's good. It's a good experience. I I, I, f I feel good with you guys. I think we have a good relationship. Yeah. I think I have a good relationship with everyone mm -hmm. in the club, and and it's really good. We have a good environment here. Yeah. Would you want to? Would you think you want to play again in America if another opportunity came up? Sure, sure. If I had another opportunity uh -huh. to maybe renew my contract or another club, sure, mm -hmm. for sure. I really uh -huh. like the. The, the country and the way they, that you guys live here, you have a, a good life, uh -huh. I think. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's pretty good. I really <laughs> like to, to live here. The, the difficult thing is to be away from your family, yeah. far from your family. Hopefully they'll, they'll come over yeah, in a month sure, or two. Yeah, sure, sure. I really want that they come and see all those things, how different it is. Yeah. So it's like a... Have a, them try to speak English? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's what I want more, you know. It's like a dream for me to bring my family because I'm really a family guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really close to my family. I, I have a tattoo of, like, family here. Mm -hmm. So I'm really close to my family. And I really want them to come here and give this, ex this experience for them, yeah. you know. It's like a dream for me. When does, does your girlfriend know what time she's coming over? Yeah, he's going to come in 27 July. 27th of July? Yeah, one month. And for one month? And how long she's no, staying? No, no, she's going to stay for 16 days. 16 days? Two weeks. That's a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. I wish it was longer. But yeah. <laughs> how, how, long, how long have you been dating her? Uh, oh, we have uh, our stories. Is, yeah. You can tell, honestly, this could, be, this could go on for like hours and hours and hours. So you have to miss a lot of, of your life. Which is uh, hard. We dated for one year and a half. Uh -huh. Then I went to Portugal and all those things happened in my life. So when I was in Portugal, I wasn't with her, so we broke up. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when I got back from Portugal, uh, I was single for, for a short time, but we saw it sometimes mm -hmm. in some places. Then when we saw each other, something happens every mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Then I got back to Portugal again. Then I was back to Brazil, like in the end of these years, and I've been through all these difficult situations in my in my in my family. Mm -hmm. Then I saw her. Then we were together. And before I got here, we were together. We had a, a trip together. Then she, with my family too. Then we start to to dating again. Mm -hmm. So everything is happening. We talk every day. Mm -hmm. We had a now we got back to had a, a good relationship, and now. We are in this situation. It's hard, though. It's huh? difficult. It's difficult. We Leaving for Portugal, coming yeah, back, going yeah. back to Portugal, coming back. Yeah, it's going difficult. To America now. And now I'm here, uh -huh. but now I think we have the the mindset. Mm -hmm. I don't know if mindset in Brazil say maturidade. Uh -huh. We are mature, right? Uh -huh. In our relationship to support the situation of me being here yeah. and her being there, like I work, she works too. Yeah. 
What's she uh, do? She works in the logistics. Logistics? Uh, uh, a big company uh -huh. from for logistics. She, she does college too. Okay. So she works every day. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay, cool. Cool. So yeah, it'll be fun for her to come. How's her English? Yeah. Is it good? No. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. <laughs> so you're going to have to literally be the yeah, translator. For yeah, her. yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's why I'm improving too yeah. and know some places to take her. Yeah. You'll it's going to be really nice. Y your English is, is way better than it needs to be. I could, I, when Mimi came over, I had to translate, and my German was so bad. Oh, I was but German. German is really <laughs> difficult. German is, yeah, German is hard. And I, I imagine. It's really difficult. It was hard. I got over there. I didn't know a single word. I literally didn't know one word. I had to ask, how do you say hello? Like, hello. I'm like, okay, that's easy. Like, it was hard. It's really Guten Morgen. Man. Yeah, Guten Morgen. Yeah, yeah I know, I know some, good, some yeah. Germany. You knew more German than yeah. I knew. Uh, <laughs> it's really difficult. At least when I came here, I already knew like yeah. some English. Like, Just from school? It, no, I didn't. At oh, the school, really? at yeah. the school I study, but it's not that difficult at school. You learn some things, uh -huh. but it's more from from the movies that you yeah, watch. Yeah, from the movies and music. Uh -huh. I'm, I really like the language, as I said, so mm -hmm. I'm, when I'm interested, so I try to learn by myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, uh, awesome. And so now I'll just ask like three questions for you. Okay. <laughs> They're easy so, questions. Don't worry. Okay. What was the, what was the absolute best out of your whole career so far? What's been the absolute best moment of it? The best moment when I was playing a championship in Brazil, uh -huh. I think the, the under 20, and my daddy was watching me. My dad watched all the all all, all of my games. Mm -hmm. Then we were, I think the game was tie, one one one, and it was a good game. Then we had a, a corner. Mm -hmm. Then they hit a nice score, so it was really good uh -huh. for for me to be there and score. And my dad was there too, so I went to the to 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 him, mm -hmm. and we celebrated together. And I remember that a lot. was a was a good was a good moment. That's awesome. It was a good moment. The goal was for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. And then so now, what was the on the exact opposite? Was the absolute lowest period of your your career? ACL. The ACL, the yeah, first one. Sure. When you were seventeen, eighteen. 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 The ACL for sure. That's yeah. That, the whole year, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It was really difficult. I think the the time. I think maybe last year about my about my what happens in my family, mm -hmm. but because the ACL was a long time, so yeah, yeah. I think what about what happened in my family was really difficult. especially at that age too. Like that's right at the age where you decide, you know, like what you were saying. Like that's yeah. right where you're like, should I go to college? Should I stay? Should I keep playing soccer? Should I? Yeah, and I had the, the injury, so mm -hmm. but I think last year was the, the, was tough. Uh huh. And then my last one is if you could go back to yourself when you were younger, do you have what? Do you have any advice that you would give yourself? Like at any age, just your younger self, you could go back in a time machine, talk to him. What would you say? Yeah, I think enjoy the moment mm -hmm. that you're living and take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Enjoy every moment that you that you're living because mm -hmm. happens only once. You have to live every moment. Enjoy, enjoy your family. Enjoy football. Enjoy your friends because that's not going back. Mm -hmm. Like we don't know. When you're gonna do the thing from for the last time, okay? I've been to to another places. Then it was the last training, mm -hmm. the last time I was with that friends, and we didn't enjoy like that we, the way we should be. Yeah, should that's, that's good advice. It's yeah. true. I've done the same thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then anything else? Anything else that you want to say? End it with. Um, I don't know. I think that that is it. That's all it? <laughs> it was a long story, I think. It's a good story. Actually, honestly, it was about an hour and 12 minutes. That's like right around the average. Some people oh. talk for a long time. More than that? Yeah. Oh, so my God. Sip, sip was like two hours and a half. Oh, my God. <laughs> sip is 29. <laughs> sip is... He, he yeah. talks a lot, too. Was, yeah, talks a lot. And year after year after year after year after year. You know, I don't remember. The, like, the year. There's not too many years, but I don't remember like, uh -huh. my career that much. A lot of things happen. But that's it. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, this is the Against All Odds podcast with Hernan Andres Ferreira. Yeah, almost. almost. It was good. It was good. It was All right, good. bro. All right. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.